G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Scrapyard. I've added a whole bunch of things to the mod so that I've got other new things to find. All the stuff that I worked on earlier in the week. Uh, stuff like the warehouses, whole big industrial rework, all that sort of thing. Uh, let me just check something quickly. No, that's right. Uh, and today is the day that Keen has released the PlayStation version of the game, which means there's been a small update to the PC version, and the thing that I notice, GPSs are now huge again. Uh, I've been playing at 4K resolution for so long that I've been used to the, the GPSs being half the normal size, and they've now brought them back to be scaled, so you guys will be able to read them again, <laughs> which is a a change. Um, I haven't gotten so used to them being tiny. I'm not sure how I feel about them being big again. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Because uh, it does make them more readable. And more obvious. But yeah. Uh, that's changed. Uh, there are other little things that have changed with this update. That they've done. Uh, some of which mean that I can't have my Twitch integration running because the because Torch hasn't been updated yet. So this is actually just running um, on my as a local save. Yeah. Also, it looks like they've made the fonts actually scale with uh, screen size. I wonder if that's editable. Uh. Nothing I can see there that's obvious. And nothing there. Yeah, I, d I doubt it's editable. I think it's just now it actually scales with the rest of the UI. Because the... The UI scaling... Um, oh no, I've got a whole UI scale... Oh. Okay, that is not a good option for scaling the UI. Um, yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> I've never tried to use that before. Huh. <laughs> uh, right. So, I've been thinking about what I wanted to do with this and how I wanted to go about getting the scrap to put together my uh, ship to get out of here and I have a bit of an idea. So I've got my little flyer thing here which definitely needs to be hooked up to the base because it is getting low on power. So I've been thinking about how I can approach it. What I kind of need this flyer to be able to do is most of what the truck could do so most of what this crane could do in terms of bringing stuff back, but obviously with a bit more speed. <laughs> also, thanks, T. Lewis. Thanks for the prime sub. It's like a terrible FOV option. <laughs> it kind of is. Uh. Hey, mosquito. Ah, oh, happy birthday, also. Uh, so, what I was thinking with the flyer was, one, to kind of deconstruct it and then reconstruct it. The reconstruction idea I have is to make it so that it's sort of two pieces. My concept is make basically a trailer truck bed sort of thing, where I can drop blocks on top and, since it's a flyer, probably do that with merge blocks, but I could maybe just drop stuff loose. And then have the cockpit section able to detach via merge blocks. So I've got something about this size which can lift up most of the smaller pieces I want to. And drop them on the carrier part. And then merge block back up and then fly off. Because one of the problems I keep having is I keep grabbing stuff with this landing gear. And then I can't manage to get myself to land normally. And it makes it really hard to get back in the cockpit. So it's sort of awkward. And I thought maybe I could uh, rearrange things as I try and attach these two completed thrusters to it. 
And yes, more bits I can knock off, exactly. <sighs> exactly. So yeah, that, that's my concept. Um, which means... I want to have an easy way to manipulate it. And I should probably attempt to use my gantry crane. Not because I think it's the right thing to do, but because I made this thing and I want to actually use it at least once. Because <laughs> annoyingly, I finished the gantry crane right at the time when I got this thing done. Thank you, Orsa. <laughs> thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Uh, <laughs> thank you for giving me a gift on almost your birthday. Uh, right. So... Let's just quickly do a couple of things. Get rid of some of this and give myself a bit of an easier well, like ground to see what's going on from. Because I think that'll help me with building this thing out. I've never really found a and a good excuse for building a detachable cockpit or something on a flyer before. So I'm kind of happy that this has given me the excuse that I wanted for that. Because I think, I think it'll be genuinely useful. I mean, I know I could attach stuff to the side instead, but that always feels a little more sketchy. Wait, I'm not in creative mode or something, am I? Nope. I was afraid I was because I last loaded into this to get some screenshots for thumbnails. So I can go to creative mode to do that so that I can teleport myself to where I want to be. Hey, dear. How's it going? Hey, Mr. Magoo. Antigari. Ah, uh, Torch got an update about 10 minutes ago. Well, that was about 10 minutes too late for me. <laughs> so, I am playing on my local save today. Uh, that's not a critique on how quickly they did it. They've done it very, very quickly after the patch. It's just literally, I've gone live, so I'm not messing with my server at this point. Uh, let's get rid of those. So for those wondering why I've been why I'm replacing the plate blocks with the half armor blocks, the half armor blocks are still cheap, but unlike the plate blocks, they don't have a small repeating texture on them. The texture gets shared across blocks, so it's look it looks better. Plate blocks are also tinfoil, that's true. Uh, what's my opinion on boat scrap? Uh, other than a boat that can fit on the back of a truck, uh, I think it'll be weird because I can't effectively control at like where things spawn in the sense that some things will spawn at the top of a mountain. And finding a giant boat wreck at the top of a mountain is weird. So... Because it's weird, I don't want to do it. Oh, I know what I need to do. At least put a connector here. So that my thing can charge while I'm doing things. While I'm prepping. So yeah, that that's why I've been very reticent to add any sort of boat stuff because it'll I think I've put a lot of effort into trying make the trying to make the rest of the spawns make sense and to do that to myself now just feels like I'm throwing in the towel <laughs> so I don't want to do it yeah like a, a small personal boat on a trailer sure because it's something different to put on a trailer I mean, I put a caravan like it had been put on a tow truck, so... Or an RV. So a boat seems appropriate.
But yeah, I'm not going to be doing any additions to the mod today. All I'm doing today is mucking around with it and making sure that it's that the stuff that I've added uh, actually works well. Because <laughs> those who watched last week would have noticed that I got a lot of a few things. Uh, the the spawns that I'd added were a little bit too generous. And so I wanted to um, fix that. Also, huh, I guess they now show who's what type of player. Just noticed on the built by it's got a little PC symbol before my name. No more missiles in every container. Uh, yeah, so the missiles in the cockpits of the mate, uh, the M8 utility vehicles, they're gone. Uh, as are a few other bits and pieces like that. I've gotten rid of the heavy armor out of a bunch of stuff, like um, Jackson's planes from Wrong Way Up. So I've, I've corrected a few grids too. <laughs> you won't find just random solar cells. You'll find them all in the solar panels. But with the increasing number of grids in general, you're less likely to see any of the particular grids. Uh, things you should never add to the submissions. Assemblers, refineries. Of either type. Okay, that's enough space, I think, for me to work from. Um, I might start by... Let's grab the forklift and bring the required parts over here. Where's my forklift? Deal with you later. Started to get distracted. Uh, and a while ago, I fixed up the thing where the highway blocks had, <laughs> the highway grids had like 150 metal grids in them. Yeah, the, the stuff that you guys have been finding in the mod version that's on Steam at the moment is different to what's in the version that I'm playing now. And if this version seems to be working okay, then I'll be publishing this one. I don't know how I'm going to get those thrusters with my forklift. Because I've left a lot of junk in the way. Can I move any of said junk? Maybe. Jar. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh no, my pa my strength is still the same. Still the same? Yeah, still the same. Get out of here. Battery. Come on. Get that out of there. Get that one out of there. Come on. Up here. Just add to my pile. And can I push you? That would be a no. Alright. I'm going to have to move that with the forklift, and then we should be able to get into the other thrusters. Because I want to add those other thrusters to this build. If you're interested in submitting grids for me to add, have a look at the post at the top of the channel for the submissions. That should give you some guidance on what I'm looking for. But also, just because a submission comes doesn't mean I'm going to add it. 
I there are there have been a number of submissions that don't fit what I'm looking for, so I just won't be adding them. Um, I got myself in a weird, really awkward position when I did uh, the ACS submissions, the Assertive Combat Systems ones, where I was trying to add every single submission that was given, and I was trying to change its style to match what I was going for, and it basically meant that I got nothing done. And I never got through the list. So, for the, in this case, what I wanted to do was just expedite the additional grids as opposed to... Um, trying to... Uh, as opposed to trying to add every single thing. So yeah, there'll be things that I'm just like, yeah, no. That's not what I'm looking for. Alright. Thruster. Probably going to need to... Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get this actually onto the thing. I do have a mess everywhere here, Shadow. It's almost like I need someone like you nearby. <laughs> Someone who can't help but tidy. It's weird to think of space engineers and an inventory system that requires active sorting, because <laughs> this is effectively my inventory. Yeah, I'm starting to hate this mess too, I'll be completely honest. Uh, there does come a point where I'm like, this is getting so bad, I want this gone. But then there also comes a point where I'm like, what am I going to do about it? How do I actually change it in a useful way? Without it taking like three years. Fourteen point two four kilowatts. That's not a lot. What in the heck is using up all the power? Oh, that's the output. All right, the input is nine hundred and nine sixteen. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I misread the thing. Of course, I did. If this was something I was playing not on stream but as single player and recorded, I probably would build a warehouse and I probably would build racks and I probably would then have the forklift be useful because I can go around and pick things off the rack. Uh, but I'd also likely have a small mobile crane because the way that I built the gantry crane doesn't actually allow me to manipulate any blocks in any useful orientations. <laughs> I can pick stuff up and move it, but I can't actually manipulate it. Uh, which kind of lacks a significant degree of foresight that was probably beneficial. So, approaching this, what do I want to do? The batteries, I think I need to pop off and rearrange. I do want to have this all... Like, I think I still want to have this part kind of arranged as it is. But the section that attaches onto the rear needs to have some cargo. Some real cargo. Because this single connector is not adequate. And the cockpit... Yeah, I'm just checking that they're empty. Let's get rid of this part. I'm going to drop off this thruster. And same with this one. Nope, grab the wrong thing. Come on. 
Out of the hole. Drag them out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or so or design a bulldozer and move it all that way. Yes, that would uh potentially work. Not exactly what I was aiming for, but potentially work. I do need to pop off this battery, and I'm just trying to think where I want to put them. Uh, let's drop all this stuff off, and we'll move it all. I'm going to need to move my truck in here so that I can move these blocks properly. So I definitely need the truck crane for this. It is not doable otherwise. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 pits, also. Thanks for the prime sub, Blazer. Hopefully not more blammo yet. Because I really... <laughs> it was really painful destroying that thruster. Uh, cool. Let's get rid of the searchlight. And I think what I'm going to try and do... Push these a bit further out of the way. And then, um, I think I'm going to try and put one of the batteries underneath the cockpit here. Thanks, Silly String Parfait. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not actively looking for any anything related to Icarus. I have. I've thought about the idea, but I haven't actually done anything active about the that concept. I want to knock you over. Why won't you let me knock you over? Um, okay, hang on. That was actually moving it. Eh. Oh, it's almost long enough. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh. aha! Get out of there! You're in the way. No! No! Oh. Need the lever to be higher. I should probably just manipulate it with the crane. So let's get the crane. Oh no, someone didn't put park brake on. Okay. <laughs> that was not ideal. Uh, glad they've been helpful, helpful, Bronzy Sword. So, yes, I do have improvised experimentation. Yes, I have also manipulated its settings so that it is not as efficient. Or not as effective, which is why I still need the crane. And that's exactly why I made it that way. Because I didn't want the that mod to negate any function of cranes. Because if I did that then what would be the point of having all the fun of making a scrapyard? I want the crane. I want the engineering. If I just replace the engineering with a mod, I may as well play creative. All with build and repair. <laughs> just to poke the bear. Uh, okay. To merge this into place. Uh, let's just go knock it out of the way with the crane first. Wait, it's like craned. Uh, no, not using rust mechanics, no. I think rust mechanics is a way to make this scenario pain. The rust mechanics mod that breaks stuff down when uh, it's just left out in the open would make this mod 
pack incredibly, incredibly difficult. Because you would just have stuff... You'd be constantly finding near useless stuff out there. Not saying it's not potentially fun, just saying it would be pain. Uh, I disagree with that assertion, Tincho, uh, wholeheartedly, but that's the joy of a game like Space Engineers. You play it how you want to. Just because I don't like build and repair doesn't mean you have to not like it. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Ooh. There we go, that worked. Right. So, I want to place it in there. I want to probably want to try and grab it. Something. That. Grab it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this. Why the heck is my spectator camp? For the sake of me not staring at a tiny little quadrant of my screen and you guys still being able to see what's going on, I'm going to do this. Lift up. Plus, if I explode something, now we're closer. And how can that be a bad thing? Oh, I'm aware this is cheating. <laughs> I am aware, Shadow. But it does also make it much more of a pleasure to watch, I think. Yeah, a camera on cranes is uh, motion sickness inducing for a lot of people, so I can't really use it. There's a part of me that kind of wants my audience not to throw up. Alright, that'll do. Merge block. Merge block. looked at the tilt on that truck and I was like how is my cr trailer in that position threw me for a second all right uh nope that way oh there we go locked already sweet Block, am I getting that targeting reticle on? Better, I guess. Okay, so two batteries. Now, where am I going to put this third battery? And do I have a fourth? How many power cells do you have? You have 15. Do I have another five somewhere? So if I do, I might put a fourth battery on too. Thanks so much, Marcus. Thanks for the five gift subs. Do I have the power cells? Uh, 
I have 15 of them. So yes, I do. Nice. I'm going to do it. I'm building another battery. Uh, I do own this battery, right? Yes. Cool. Um, so, with two more batteries... I might go a bit chunky on this and try and put them slapped on each side of the connector and battery. And then I should be able to put the a pair of large thrusters in front of them. Giving this little mobile part a lot of lift. And then I can add the two remaining thrusters to the carrier section. The trailer bit. And hopefully get the parts to build up the second one of those and maybe even find another one to keep adding to the trailer part to give it more and more lift. That should work. Thanks, Quebec John. <laughs> Thanks for the 500 bits. Um, yeah, I probably could fix the smoking large grid one. Part of me kind of... It almost feels like it's part of the family now that it's, it's sat there smoking for weeks. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer. I will consider. I will consider your idea. It is. It is under consideration. It may be fixed. We'll see. Once I build this lifter, I should be able to get out there and find all the. Dang it! Should be able to find get out there and find all the pieces that I need. Um in order to build my final goal for this, which is to get something that can take me to space. Alright, so I need to now get this around to that side and flip around that battery. So, what I want to do is turn that way, lift up a bit just so I don't run into anything. around, down, swing this around and grab the battery on the side here. Oh, actually, no I don't. No, I want to grab it this way. Here and then spin it around. Push the things gently out of the way. And grab. Then I should be able to move it forward and spin it. Minmatar feels, yes. <laughs> uh, if only I'd actually played Minmatar. Rather than just mocking Kapak for playing Minmatar. Talking about EVE Online for those unfamiliar. Thanks, Red Bearded Dragon. Thank you for 15 months. Yep. Salvage all the things, but I need to quickly... Well, as quickly as I can, rebuild this thing so that I can salvage all the things. Uh, it's been nice seeing how many people have been having fun with this mod pack scenario that I've made. Right, cool seeing people enjoy a thing you've created can totally understand why a lot of game devs do what they do and enjoy it even though it's often <laughs> uh, difficult that one oh yep sure that worked all right next one uh need to come around to the other side so I think what I want to do is basically pick this up on its current facing by putting that going straight down. Uh, like that. Uh, 
I don't believe there's any mod to add Capac's whingy noises to the game, but there are... Someone a while back made a mod for the engineer to say ow each time it was injured. But general capac ranting, not so much. Oh, arena mode for farming sim, eh, Shadow? <laughs> that actually, I'll, I'll be honest, that does sound like kind of a bit of fun. Maybe we should give that a go. Uh, yeah, in some respects I do kind of have two cap -acks. But TFE at least makes me feel better about my sense of direction because I'm not the only one who gets lost inside something they designed themselves. It's here so we can see better. Oop. What the? Why did I get in the cockpit? Dope. It's the first time I've made that mistake. Speaking of getting lost in your own builds. Cool. Alright. Battery's done. So I reckon that's nice and nice and neat with the four on there. Should work fairly well. Yeah, I've used I've used a bright light at the end of my crane to indicate when I'm like to help me get an idea of where exactly it's located. Uh, I've been thinking. A system that could work quite well if you mess with the fall off of the lights properly what you could do is actually have three interior lights near the end of your crane have one of them red have one of them blue and have one of them green so the red is set to like the idea is to make it have a really sharp fall off so that it doesn't blend out it just suddenly stops um and what you could do is have the red one at a moderate distance. So say the red one's at two meters away or three meters away. Then the green is at two meters away and the blue is at one meter away. So what you'll see as the crane gets close to an object is you'll first see it light up in red. Then when it's even closer, it'll be yellow. And then when it's closer still, it'll be white. And that'll that'll be a nice kind of grade of showing you how close you are to the thing you're about to pick up which when you're not using spectator cam can be really quite handy for indicating where you are in relation to an object when you can't see the end of the crane properly yeah and I've when I've um had the opportunity to set up a like to use a crane normally and I've had a say my second PC recording footage for it I've used the end of crane cameras and just coped with the jiggling or in scavenger hunt I for some of it just encouraged Moosey to in the edit use uh, use Capac's POV when it was jiggly instead of using mine 
basically just need an alternate camera. And the cameras on the end are useful, it's just if you can tolerate that jiggling. Which I don't have a problem with, but I... I know pe other people do, so I don't like to punish. Not too often, anyway. There are those times when I get in a mood and I do stupid things like um, riding on the back of a swing of a moving rover and spin around and around and around and around. But as a general rule, I try not to make people nauseated. Okay, yeah, do want to make that high enough. So, we'll go with... Huh? Oh, I need to lift it even higher. Do I want to lift that higher? Hmm. Kind of do. Kind of do. Alright, let's bring it up a bit. Yes, riding on my hurlinator. Yes, that. <laughs> do. Yes, you can build all of the seats and cockpits and stuff in this. That all works properly. I intentionally didn't remove... I intentionally didn't remove anything that I expected uh, an NPC might actively seek out and destroy as its first target. Because that just felt like it was more likely to irritate than create interesting engineering challenges. Similarly, like pistons and hinges. Can you imagine what this would be like if you had to find all of the pistons? There we go. Thruster on. Cockpits, guns, pistons, rotors. You'd never be able to build a crane. Okay, that's one on. Uh, and then I'll stick the other one on the other side, and then i got to decide where I'm going to put the small thrusters for... Uh, control. So, where's my forklift? So at the moment, my what I would encourage people to do uh, if playing with the scenario is once you're at a level where you've got got space, maybe you could then remove some of the mods that add the restrictions and then just keep playing. Or start adding some combat mods like ACS to it so that you've got other stuff to be found, but you got to fight for it. I've got no plans on making something so that it... Oh, actually, the other thing... The other alternative that might work quite well, if you were of that mindset, would be to replace my G-Menu restriction mod with Grind to Learn once you get to space. So then you can just, as you find blocks, be able to build them yourself. And because you'd get to space with most of your blocks that you found, You'd be able to quickly grind and learn all of the ones that you've got at, got to hand at the time. That'd be kind of my idea of how you could do it. And still have some fun with it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Takari, adding adding abandoned settlements once you're established, I can see that working. I certainly would recommend against adding it at the outset, because you will dramatically change the progression that I've tried to balance for. Obviously, if that's what you want, then that's fine. Each to their own. Hmm. 
Come on, lock onto this flat surface of it. Thank you. Uh, I need my brain to work. I think out here. And we'll go that way. that oh, I'm so happy with this crane it's got all of the manipulation that I need to get my brain easily around what I'm trying to do well relatively easily I've had cranes with much with fewer degrees of motion but I've always struggled with them to try and get things into the position whereas this one because I've got the double hinge here and the arguably actually I think this has just about the right number of degrees of movement it needs a lot of manipulation at the end but it's worked out so much better than my previous ones have uh, so at the moment my concept for the space uh, scrapping is to have um the ACS ships and make them into wrecks but still leave some of the guns active obviously because it's space they're going to need to broadcast their location because otherwise you will probably never find them uh, unlike on a planet where there's a effectively a two dimensional plane that you have to search in space with it in full 3D your chances of stumbling upon something uh, close enough to be zero that it would that they definitely need to broadcast. That way. Oh, there we go. Cool. Nice. Got my little lifter chair. Yeah, I'm thinking similar to the Pirate Rex where they'll intermittently broadcast to you. So you'll get an occasional signal that comes out. I'm so tempted to weld that up. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it annoys me that it's there. There we go. Okay. Uh, how many other Atmo thrusters do I have? Do I have any? It's all hydrogen tanks and stuff. I think... I think I don't. There's none in the back of this. That's a drill. Only. That's got batteries in it. Yeah, okay. So I really don't have many thrusters for lateral thrust. I only got the bare minimum. Right. <laughs> I, I tried to make these two batteries the same way and I ended up inverting them. Uh. <laughs> oh well. How much does chat want me to fix that? That's the question. Huh? You couldn't add the block tool to your cockpit in the scrapyard. Um, that doesn't make block tools useless. Because you can still turn them on and off using a control. Uh, I'm curious. I'm gonna, I'm, let's, let's see what's going on there. See if that was something wonky. Uh, I wonder if that's some... Issue with it. Uh, 
with it being hidden. Yeah, but you can smooth the ground with left click too. Ah, yeah, does get rid of it from block tools menu. But you've still got it here, so you can still have toggle on off. Interesting. Unexpected uh, side effect. <laughs> I mean, I'd love for you to fix it, but I think my discomfort only encourages you not to fix it. Ah, uh, you know me too well, Shadow. You know me too well. Where do I want to put these extra thrusters? Debating whether I attach them to my lifting thrust or whether I put them back here on the batteries. I'm thinking maybe... Oh, poop. Did not mean to jump all the way over. Uh, where do I want my reverse thrust to? I should figure that out first. Might put my reverse thruster at the front here. Just one in the middle. And then I will put my sideways on the back and my obviously pushing forward one on the back too. It's better everything is odd than everything but one thing. You are so right. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, you can mine ores, you just can't refine them. There's no refinery to be found. There's, there's actually no refinery anywhere. A couple of people have tried to sneak them into the submission builds. <laughs> but I've removed them from those, the ones that I've added. Uh, is that going to work? Am I going to be able to get this on? Maybe. Let's see, I might have to pick this up again. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick this up again. That's not going to work. That should work. Click this all the way around. The best way to clear away the scrap is just throw it on the ground. The game will delete it. <laughs> you don't need to keep it. You can let it go. Like that horrible Disney, Disney film. You can just let it go. <laughs> oh, I love the number of people in chat right now saying, you monster. Frozen is a terrible movie. Oh, man. What? Why did that drop off? Oh, you rotten thing. The story in it is just, uh, I can't, I'm trying to think, because I, I watched it years ago, and I, after watching it, I was just like, this is so bad. Like, I, I enjoy a good animated film, like, 
probably my favorite movie is um like one of my favorite movies of all time is how to train your dragon because it's it follows the three-act structure just really 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 well oh man that's the wrong way to move that Grab. Lift. Yeah, Lion King. Another example. Okay, thruster on. Uh, but yeah, Frozen. I can't. I can't even remember the story, but I remember just going. This just isn't good. <laughs> I have two daughters. I dislike that song. Um, I don't. I I can very much understand that. I imagine when the Lion King came out, there were a lot of parents cursing it too. Yeah, scrap is removed with cleanup disabled because scrap is a floating object, so it'll be deleted uh, once you have enough other floating objects in the world. So if you drop a bunch of components on the ground, uh, the scrap will be deleted first, as I understand it. Ores get deleted first, then I think scrap, then components. Unless scrap counts as an ore. Okay. Next up, I'll put one of these on each side behind the big thrusters. And I think what I'll do bef what I'll do after that is I'll just add a couple of cargo containers to the back here. I'm not going to make... Oh, I probably can make the separatable, but actually, I can just make it without any thrusters. I think the kids thing that I've got to be prepared for first is feeling like a terrible parent after watching Bluey. So I suspect it'll still be around by the time that Toby's old enough to be uh, watching that sort of stuff. Because everything I know about Bluey is that the parents on it do their job so well that it makes you feel like a terrible parent when you watch. <laughs> Is Barney even still a thing that anybody watches? Like, do kids even watch any of that anymore? I thought that was long gone. It was never really popular in Australia anyway. <laughs> yes, Edric. I also recall Gumby. Uh, this is a bad idea. Push this into place. Um, right. Need to make a support so I don't push this off the edge. And Gumby's horse, yes. Gumby, for those who don't know of it, was a claymation creature um, that made a generation of Australians call anyone who was uncoordinated a Gumby. Okay. 
Let's see if this will work. Uh, I think... My guess with the Gumby thing is that the show made that into slang. Not the other way around. But I don't know if that's true or not. I have a cousin who does amazing chainsaw carvings. He did an eight-foot Gumby. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's real cool. I really hope I don't find out later that um, my assumptions around the Gumby are so wrong that it's and it's actually something really horrible. Because I've certainly called myself a bit of a Gumby before. Should work. Let's get this over. It's a slow way to build, but it's satisfying. Let's get the crane out of the way. I can do the rest of this by hand. Oh my gosh. The Wiggles are a perfect example of the power of nostalgia. Uh, each each year in Australia, one of the uh, public uh, national broadcast radio stations does a top 100 music thing. Top 100 songs released that year. And they also do a thing where they get bands to come in and do a cover of of whatever song the, the band feels like. And they got the Wiggles to come in and do a cover. That cover that year, which was not the most recent one, the year before, was then voted the top song of that year. Which was almost certainly because kids who grew up with them uh, were hit hard with the nostalgia. Hey, locked. What? Um. Oh, right. No, don't grind down the atmospheric thruster. Grind. No, the merge block, thank you. The merge block was loose, not the thruster. <laughs> It's very confusing for a second. Alright, now to put the reverse, the forward thruster on, and I'm done. Oh, thank you. I ground down the big thruster. Cool. Thanks, going on. Thank you for 21 months. Uh, no clang singularities today, thankfully. Um, just giant GPS markers that I still can't help but look at and go, wow, that's huge. <laughs> Thanks, Existence. Thank you for 10 months. Uh, okay, last thrust start. Let's do this. That, F9... Uh, 
Put that there. Push it away. Uh, get my brain to work so I can figure out where I'm supposed to put this merge block, and I think there. There we go. So I've got room now to add extra lateral thrusters if I find them, and extra forward thrust. Because I've kept enough space that I can put extra forward thrust each side, lateral thrust behind those, and similarly at the front, I can put extra reverse thrust on. So I, I intentionally laid these out in a way that gave me space to add extras without it all starting to look real awkward. Um, and now for the trailer section that's where I'm going to put cargo and I'm going to put some landing gear and some merge blocks so that I can uh, connect up to those which does obviously mean I'm going to have to have two connectors on this thing but eh, it is what it is <laughs> so I think what I'll do is yeah we'll go there and there for our merge blocks I don't need to, I'm doing two because I want to. Uh, so my plan is to add the extra thruster onto the trailer bit. For when I'm lifting the heavier stuff. Alright, oh, I need to publish this truck on the workshop now that I've finished it. Keep forgetting to do that. Don't know why I thought of that at that moment, but I did. That felt really weird. <laughs> that felt really strange. gonna make a simple bucket I just want something that's big enough that I can maybe pick up one or two large grid blocks uh, but mostly bring home a bunch of small grid stuff so I'm trying to collect the necessary pieces to get to space. Do. Do. Of course I do that. Good job. Did not line them up. Yeah, something about that size I think could be right. Because on the back here I can then add... Uh, blocks along here. And I'm just thinking about... Ah, some medium cargoes. I don't want to do a... Unless, have I got a large cargo? Small grid large cargo around here? don't think I do. I think I've only got mediums. Yeah, just mediums. So, I'll go grab a few of the mediums and I'm going to put them on the back. Since I don't have any batteries on this section, um, it's probably not horrible for me to... Actually, since this is a flyer, I can make this connect to the base however I like. We go like a cargo there. Have I got two more? Yes, I do. So we'll put three medium cargoes on here. I think that'll be enough. It'll certainly be a big step up from what I was working with before. I 
All right. I'd like them to be lifted up one block, which means I want to put... If I'm putting one... I'll put the middle one in first. Put that there, then put a merge block on top. Merge block on top there. Those two should line up right. Ah, yes, you can build projection tables. <laughs> Console blocks. You can build them because... Well, if you want to build decorative stuff like that. Who am I to say that you shouldn't? Nope. There we go. One hooked up. I'll leave the clean one. I just didn't leave, want to leave the concrete one. There we go, another one here. That. And that. Just push this into position like that, because that's going to make my life easier. Because then I can press R, right click, stabilize it, and push it into place. There we go. Two down. One. You saw nothing. One to go. <laughs> I did it again. I didn't even mean to do it. And I did it again. They're not aligned. Uh, huh. I didn't do anything. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Hey. No, roll over. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Nice. There we go. See, there's nothing wrong with the port alignment. It's all fine. It looks neat. And spin around. I now have legs for it to rest on. Now I can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I think this will work okay. found a couple of small grid large cargoes. Yeah, the small grid large cargoes are intentionally rare. I'm looking forward to getting out there and having a search for the new stuff. Because I would like to see how it impacts my game. As mentioned earlier, I do plan, if it all looks okay, to release the new stuff today. Have some more fun stuff to find. Add a bit more variety to the game. Yep. 
Can't have the Twitch integrations because the Torch update for the new patch was not ready when I went live. So I had to localhost it instead of hosting it on my dedicated. And the dedicated is required for the Twitch integration. Alright, next. Go inside. And I'm going to use this. Nope, I'm going to go get some more plate. New DLC block, a small cargo with two sides not aligned like an L shape. A medium cargo with the large port on there and a large port on the side. That'd be interesting. I imagine there would be more than a couple of people who would whinge about that being an unfair advantage for the DLC blocks somehow. Um, wouldn't bother me because I don't tend to think about it too much, but I do wonder if that would be something people would complain about. Oh man, I was looking at this going, have I done something wrong in the build of this? And it was because I put this row all the way along here, but I hadn't put it on this side. And so I thought I'd done some awful asymmetry there. Well, awful because it wasn't planned. Or because it was planned to not be asymmetrical is probably a better way to say that. How am I going to get large grid blocks on here? This is detachable from the flyer, so the flyer lifts them up onto here, then comes back and merges back on. It was an idea that came to me yesterday evening as I was about to go to sleep. I was like, yeah, that'll actually work really nicely. I like that idea. It's something different to what I've ever done before. And at more than 5,000 hours in the game, if I come up with something that I haven't done before, I'm probably going to do it just for the sake of doing it. But in this case, it's like something I haven't done before and it's practical? Ooh, that is a shiny I cannot resist. Yeah, if I find a crane with an assembler, I think I've got to bring the truck. And also... Oh, uh, maybe not. Am I carrying a rifle? No. I need to be carrying a rifle if I'm going <laughs> to if I'm gonna find one of those. Because I need to be able to shoot the thing off. Uh, if I need to, I'll add some more mag plates to the tray of that, but I kind of liked the idea of it being a half block down for most of it. Uh, I might just replace a couple more of these with a couple more landing gear. Yes, that is a valid point. You do need to take note of where you got into a vehicle uh, when working on sky cranes. Uh, as <laughs> I believe I mentioned a couple of times when I was 
in Survival Impossible and working on my uh, platform. Claps that down, and we're good to go. Might turn auto lock off on all of these. And then also need to put my searchlight back on and I need a way to grab onto things as well uh, but I might put this thing at a hover before I do that so I think what I want to do, maybe just put a landing gear here. This needs to be a little bit lower. The Station Ears series, I don't know when I'm going to have it ready to go live. Uh, we've had, given the large number of people involved with it, we've had some issues with getting everyone there for recordings, so we've actually only done two recordings, despite having started recording like four weeks ago. Um, so I'm hoping that'll get better and we can get some more done, but haven't been able to get many. done as yet. But yeah, as soon as I've as soon as I've got enough that I've got some recordings in advance for when people can't show up, uh should be good to go. That is the wrong light. What am I doing? That is the correct light. Okay, uh, let's put some other lights around this just for the sake of having some. Uh, the updates haven't caused an issue so far with the recordings. It's literally just been, we're trying to play with five people. Uh, five people who live in quite different time zones, <laughs> so it it uh, creates some challenges with scheduling and making sure everyone's available and able to show up. Do 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 do. Such light. Enable idle movement off. Target meteors off. Target rockets off. Target small ships, large ships. Target neutrals. Target enemies on. Enable target locking. Radius 800. Cool. Alright. Uh, mostly good to go. Merge, block, lifter. And we'll do the same on this one. Okay. So now I should be able to add to my hot bar. Add that with control. Then we can have a toggle on off, toggle on off. And we're good. Sweet. 
Time to fly. Let's go find ourselves some extra bits and pieces. I really like this. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, uh, need to do a thing. I don't know if that's actually the reverse thrust. It is not. Let's see reverse thrust. Uh, let's delete that group because it's wrong. Now we can go cruising. Favorite remake of a block in Space Engineers? Uh, probably the sci fi Atmo thrusters. That chopper GPS is old. Let's delete that. Let's gain some altitude and see what we can find. It's like a flying bed. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of what it is, I guess. It's a flying flatbed. Oh, there's something over there. Let's go down. <laughs> waiting for me to finally take on that observer base. Yeah, I really should do that. Oh. Uh, that is 7Ks away. Let's just stick with the thing that I know I've found. At least I've got plenty of power. Uh, tires have no greater impact resistance than standard old armor, except for the fact that the blocks have a bit more resilience due to being, um, due to having more components, so there's no point putting tires on the bottom. Wheels, as in proper wheels with suspensions, would end up making the thing awkward to fly because they're subgrids. So there's no point putting tires on them. Um, the collision resistance from the steel plate is quite adequate. As seen. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if there are any motors in these bits. Oh, appear to... Oh. Huh. Not in the ground. Interesting. Inventory full. Oops. Figure I'm going to be doing some uh, more building of shuttle. I may as well grab some bits while I'm out and clear up some of these bits too. Since that is a good supply of small steel tubes. Right, let's continue on. Uh, PM Nutrition, that's because Park is not a mod. It is a script. It does not show up in your mod list because it is not a mod. This is a programmable block script. Ah, uh, the bed doesn't actually land. There are little legs. The bed doesn't touch the ground. Or it shouldn't. Ooh. Is that something big over there? Let's have a look. So down here we've got a shed and a water tower. What's that over there? Hangar. Aha. It is something big. It appears that my 
issues with the uh, spotlight, the searchlight actually targeting things continue. Uh, yes, <laughs> and what you experience there is it is a good reason to try and put your searchlights the correct way up. Oh! That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Huh. Hello there. Aha! Sucker. Take your ammo. Uh, do I need the custom turret controller? Don't know. Let's take the roof off and I can take this whole battery. I didn't really need the medium cargo. It's fine. Okay. Now for the Trixie Hobbitses. Can we take control of this battery? Take the turret controller first. So I own it. And then... Do, 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 do. Transfer to me. Yes. Well, I have a full battery. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's do this detaching thing. One, two. Uh, it's small grid. It's not attached to the grid. <laughs> the large grid thing around it, it can't be attached to. Put you in the middle. No, nope, that is not the middle. Probably work. Yeah, so the new the new sheds don't have any hinges or other shenanigans going on, so don't have to worry about those. But the new hinges the new sheds do have <laughs> things like that turret in them. And there might be other buildings that have that turret in them too. Alright, uh while I'm here, let's just delete these grids. Yeah, fewer large steel tubes to be found, but as an advantage, fewer exploded <laughs> things from sheds to be found too. Okay, let's get to that hangar. Let's see what's there.
When will I get myself a gun? Maybe one day. Who knows? It's about to say a Capac esque line. Guns are for chumps. Oh. Oh, there's a thing down on the ground. On the way to the hangar. Let's go stop off at it and see what it is. Alright, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> Locking doesn't really help when you don't have a weapon. Where is the thing? There it is. What is the thing? The thing is something that I'm not interested in, so I'll just get down there and clean it up. Oh. Oh, we got some motors here. Let's grab those. And I can repair that other thruster. Once I get enough of them. Alright. And creative mode. Delete. Huh. I wonder if it's possible. Obviously, use case limited, but I do wonder if it's possible to mod the game so that you can have access to the ability to delete grids without having to enable and disable creative mode. Is there something like that already? I'm not aware of anything like that, Shadow. Yeah, yeah, I don't own these grids. That's why I'd need to be able to delete other people's grids. It's obviously not a mod useful for multiplayer. Uh, at least any multiplayer where people might do nasty things to each other. But for a single player setup like this, it could be really handy for being able to do your own quick cleanup without having to go back and forth. No, no, Shadow, you can... On the info page, you can delete your own grids, not other people's. And in this case, the grids are... Not owned by me. Okay, we have a solar panel. What have we got inside? Burlet, which has motors. Thank you. Uh, ammo, I'll take that. Eh, I got so many bottles at home, I don't need those. Wait, why did I just hack that? It doesn't need to be hacked. Uh, medium cargo... And not much else. Ooh! Bonus! <laughs> I'm so glad I checked that small cargo. That is very rare, the way I set up the loot table, I hope. Uh, for making motors in what assembler? You may be able to use the nickel from them to make motors normally, but there's no assembler in this. Inventory full. As in, I haven't found the basic assembler that's out there, so I can't do it. Take credit. Okay, I got all the motors out of that. I've got all the motors out of that. I 
I've got all the motors out of that. I'll just grab the large steel tubes. I don't really need them, but I'll grab them anyway. And then I'll grab those solar cells and delete this thing. Yeah, I found three bat, three power cells inside the small cargo. It was quite nice. Uh, you don't have any power cells. Okay. Solar cells. Whatever it was. Because I'm going to need to find... <gasps> no. I didn't bring home... Ah. Uh, I didn't bring home the small grid solar cell... Solar panel. From the... From the little RV. Dang. Need to bring one home, so I've got a rechargeable power supply for my ship when I take it to space. I saw... Ah, that way. Let's see if there's anything over at these power lines. Because I have now made power lines something you actually want to search. Because power lines occur in a few situations now. And also power lines will often spawn a vehicle nearby. Yeah, I see that over there. I'll go back to that one. I'm taking out this. Because I see a small vehicle off to the right there. Also, I see something over the valley there too. So what I've done with the power lines is they can have vehicles near them or they will actually spawn near some of the industrial estate type areas. So if you see them at a distance, they are worth looking at and checking out. What we got in the plane? A merge block. Uh, motors cargo container what have you got oh uh, that's a moderate amount of ammo cool is there a thruster in this somewhere there's one in the back Aha. Nice. Extra directional thrust. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to grind out. useful in here. Oh, another thruster in there. Okay, so we got two from this. Sweet. Just clearing up around this thing so it's easy to pick up. And obviously so I can take ownership of it too. Yeah, Jax. This is one of yours. Okay. And this is now one of mine. Pick that up and throw it in the back, but let's get the other one out first. Thruster, here it is. Huh. 
I uh, got some clean cola out of the cockpit. Oh, yeah, for those wondering, I've fixed the cockpit so they're not full of ammo anymore. No more massive pile of ammunition in them. Still other ammo to be found on board, though. Do I use the consumables? No. I'm really bad at even remembering I have them on hand. To be honest. Even when I've got med kits and I got bad health, I usually forget that I've even got them available. I'm so unaccustomed to using them. out of there. Come on. Come on. Come on, little thruster. No. Move. Move. Come on. Come on. I'll merge into the other one so I don't have to move them one at a time. Life easier. Then disconnect. Pick this thing up. That's sweet. That's kind of really nice. Although I'd still obviously have preferred to find some hydrogen thrusters. So I kind of still need a lot of those. But a couple of extra atmos is not a bad thing. Almost got real spicy. Uh... Uh, shenanigans with subgrids and landing gear. The fun. Alright, we'll delete these other bits around here. At least the small grid stuff in the ground. Should be able to, if I get rid of this bit, go out of 10, entity list, distance from players, scroll down, and go high tension, high tension, room, move. There we go. Sorted. Thanks, Rekka. Thank you for 29 months. Now, there was a wind turbine somewhere. Back this way. Oh yeah, thank you. 
Thank you for the reminder about the creative mode. Some more stuff over that way after this. And there's another abandoned settlement just over that way, too. I might have to be a bit more picky about what I collect rather than just <laughs> being a loot goblin. little mini shed. Let's see. Anything I want? Hydrogen engine. O2H2 gen. I don't want the O2H2 gen, but I'll take the ice from it. I also don't want the engine, but I'll take its power cell. That seems to be a quicker way of getting rid of everything. <laughs> Thanks, leather boy. It's been very cute. Charlie's become very protective of Toby. Thankfully not in an aggressive, protective sort of way, but just, like, any time he's crying, she comes over and she lies at our feet, waiting until he stops, looking all concerned, with her worried face, ears down sort of look. Fortunately, she also seems to be warm enough with her jacket on in the uh, in the den that I've made her out of her crate. Just to make sure that it was warm enough for her, I've put a blanket over it as well. It's got like a windproof, waterproof cover on it, but I've also put the... Um, a bit close to this to do this, but oh well. I wonder if something in the update balked Nev's mod. Perhaps. Now which way to go? I guess straight ahead since I've got a thing. Yes, a survival kit does need power to respawn you. Without power, it does not perform any functions. It doesn't need much power, but it needs power. What is over here? I'm really hoping to find one of my industrial estates. <laughs> I kind of want to check the entity list to see if there's one actually around to find so I can show it off and check it out but I also feel like that's cheating so I don't want to do it in other words I'm undecided and this is another billboard so I'm, I'm in a tricky spot I've been in a tricky spot with survival impossible for a while I was waiting for the automatons update and now the automatons updates out I've been working on tutorials for it, and 
those have gotten in the way of me doing any other solo recordings, plus the whole new dad thing, uh, eating a considerable amount of my time. So Survival Impossible has not come back when I anticipated it would, which is kind of the story of the last two years, I'd say. Um, but... I'd still like to give it a proper go again. And it's still on my to-do list. It has not been scrubbed off or gently crossed out or anything. It's it's still there. Why can't I turn to my right? That was weird. No, AA is nowhere near a finale. AA's got ages to go. I've got plans. i got plans with that one. I'm not an ambi-turner. It's true. What? Eh, that looks small as well. If that was big, I was going to turn away, but it looks small like this thing that I'm heading towards. And there's something else bigger up ahead, so I'll head over to that. There's just stuff I want to find, and RNG is cursing me. But the whole pop, the whole point of this series initially was for me to test the mod. So in doing this, I am testing the mod, which is kind of ideal. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna grind you down. Yep, there we go. That was stuff. I did do a clean sweep at the start before I even went live. I deleted everything. Specifically because I was in a uh, there are some but <laughs> there are a few things I've needed to test. All right, that looks pretty cleared out. Yep. All right. Goodbye. I go. Oh, that's what I should be doing. Not stopping at everything, but flying around until I find, like, one of the biggest things that's likely to have what I want. Like, what I'm thinking is, fly around until I fly it, until I find some construction sites and the like. There's a pipe over there. Um, I just can't, I can't help myself. I want to check what's in these things. Because I, I still need to find the small hydrogen thrusters, so... I do still need to look. Oop. Oh, it's coming in a bit steep then. Uh, let's not park near the doorway. Doesn't look like there's a gun in there though. Uh, we've got O2H2 gen, inset lights, and a large grid. I've got enough of these. Is 
What did I just pick up then? Displays. Uh, the ice and yeah, that's it. Nothing else in there I want. It is, <laughs> it is awkward to flare in this thing because of the subgrids attached to it. I don't have quite the gyro control I want. Although I could now probably turn this one on. Give myself a bit more gyro power. Uber gyro. So we've got pipes over that way, so that's not interesting. I think. Although I think I added some pipes to some other bits. Uh, I'm just going to fly for a bit. See what we see. I'm not evil for f grinding down that cargo container. I'm focused. I have goals. I have things I want to achieve. <laughs> and collecting everything, even stuff I don't actually need, gets in the way. It's focused on being evil. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'm more focused on being evil when I'm setting up uh, interactions to happen in series where I have a vague idea of what's going on and no one else does. I think I can unequivocally say, Leatherboy, that um, Space Engineers is my favourite game ever. That is a truck that might have something good. I am going down. Every time I get excited about something you find, I hear the words. I have to change that. <laughs> Oh. Oh, what have you got? Is that a large... Is that a large cargo? I think that might be a large cargo in there. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. But how... How am I best to cut that out? I wonder if I've got the parts to build it, because then I can just grind it off easily. Yes. Anything good in it? Meh. Oh, I was hoping to be able to continue rolling it. Ooh, I can roll it over. Nice. All right, clear of the truck. Let's go pick it up. front or at the back I should say I really like my little flying flatbed <laughs> there is a small part of me that's like oh I don't use my truck anymore but then there's another part of me that's like this is actually kind of cool Delete the truck.
And away we go. And a... Uh oh. Feels wrong. Okay, that was weird. No, I think something went weird when I merge blocked to the tray. I think that's what happened there. Um, do I take this home? I probably should, because I'm going to struggle to pick up anything good if I find it. So let's head home. Head home, drop this stuff off, and then come back for more. Yeah, I think it was something like that, Chiller. Um, like it thought I was in Voxel or something. Got confused for a minute. Uh, what do you mean, Orsa? Do you mean any reason I didn't empty the H2 tanks that um, you can find around the place? Or the ones that I've got back at base that I haven't drained off yet? Because the ones back at base, uh, it's because lazy. A uh, bit lazy and a bit haven't had the time to jump in and do it. Uh, the ones that were on the truck were all ground down and also time. It takes a lot of time to grind down some, like to cut those out. Uh, it's time that I don't really want to spend doing that when I'd rather be out there searching for new stuff and searching for the stuff I need for the, for something to get to space with. So, with regards to the scenario and updating, if you've started the scenario, the only stuff that will update is the mods in it. The settings and other things like that won't change. Any mods that I've added to the scenario since you started your game won't get added. It's literally just the, um, just the brand new starts that get updated when I do a change to the scenario. But when I do a change to the core MES mod, you'll get that. It's just you won't see it. You won't see those changes until you delete the existing spawns in your world. Or you go searching further afield from where they've spawned. Because those existing spawns will stop your... Um, will restrict the number of new ones you get. So people should not be surprised... If they end up with lots of clangy sheds, even after I do the update. Now, I have not built a connector to offload things, so I guess I'm doing that by hand. Yeah, I think I think a good way to approach is if you've got one main grid that you've you've been using is just started. You can just start a new one and co copy paste that in. Because often that's easier than finding all of the grids and deleting them. Uh, also, yeah, I would recommend once you've got yourself spawned in to add the MES settings mod. Annoyingly, it still causes the game to crash even after I put the fixes in. It still causes the game to crash if it's loaded in before you've spawned. Makes me kind of tempted to force, like, to make us the initial spawn be uh, with you already falling on Earth-like. And then people who want to go elsewhere can do it, but that also feels a bit clunky, so I don't know. There's no good solution there that I can see. 
Uh, Nev, I'm not sure that one's Gruz's fault. It's a weird thing with um, MES and text commands being sent before a player exists. See ya, Teddy. Uh, let's disconnect. Switch lock, and switch lock, and switch lock. I, nope. So what I'm thinking I should do, since I got those two extra thrusters, I should probably add them. Uh, as reverse and forward thrust. Before I go out on my next little trip. Also, I might give a chance for this horrible weather to clear. Hey, I'm in, Wolf. Uh, cleanup is off in the scenario by default. You shouldn't need to do that. That shouldn't be on. It's only... There seem to be a lot of people who aren't starting it as the scenario and are starting it by loading all the mods one by one themselves, which is not the way to go about it. Um, so that seems to be why there are a lot of comments related to that. Because for some reason people weren't starting it as the scenario. Thanks for the prime sub, man. Uh, lock. There we go. All right. Let's bring these two over here. You can reach them with the crane, and we'll lock down. That's not where I expected my camera to end up. I think I'll go extra forward and reverse thrust. It's debating between that and lateral, but I think with how slow it is to accelerate this thing, I want I want some better acceleration. Uh, all right, up we go. Out we go. Right. Where's my spectator cam at? I do so love using cranes from spectator cam. <laughs> as cheaty as it is, I really like it because it makes the crane controls feel so much better. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab the other one because it's in a slightly better position for me to work with. I lock there, then I should be able to go like this. Which way am I wanting to do this? Uh, I think I should just be able to rotate it with that one. You need a second crane that holds the camera. <laughs> uh, now, if you know me too well. But then the second crane's camera would bounce, so I'd need some sort of um, system for making it not bounce. Right, I 
think I might be in a position where I can build some merge blocks and get that locked on. to one side. Huh. It's gonna be a problem. Is my... My hanger mustn't be flat here because I'm far enough away from the origin point of this, this grid that I'm now... Gravity isn't perfectly aligned for me to be sliding like that. This isn't going to work. What do I do here? I have made this very difficult. Oh, I know what I do. Put that there. Then that there. And then one on there once I move this further out. That should do the trick. That goes there, and then we'll merge. Easy. Also, you're e Nope. No, the ground is not evil. You are evil. There you go. What? No! Mine! Why are you no mine? You mine now? Yes. Okay. Yes, merge blocks do not cost resources because I get everything back when I use them. So I use merge blocks instead of weld pads most of the time. I probably don't need to anymore, honestly. Um, but it's become a habit at this stage, so I just keep doing it. Get that out of the way. Oh, wait, no. Dang it, I still have more to do. Still need to get this one on at the back. should be easy to do comparatively because if I just add a merge block on top like that and I add one on top of this and grab by the merge block I should be able to get it to go straight in no SE toolbox isn't abandoned uh, it's been forked and now has some degree of management by other people, but I think that's, or at least part of that, part of it is that. Camera over here. Hopefully I won't have to move it again. I have found a couple of hydros. I've got one large and two small, I think. I think that's all I've got.
Oh, am I actually going to be able to get this in that gap? Or is it going to hate me? Oh. It's going to hate me, but it's going to do it as well. Uh, let's unlock. we go. Done. Uh, there's actually, from, from my experience so far, there are no extra hinges or rotors at the end of my crane. Yes, in theory, you could do most manipulations with all blocks, with with fewer blocks, but if you were to attempt that, the number of times you'd have to flick something around because you'd approached it from the wrong direction just by maybe five degrees, and then have to completely change the way you're approaching to reach the, uh, to reach the next bit in the articulation, means that this actually works really efficiently. I'm building a Scooty Puff Senior, I think you'll find. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're good to go. Now my groups, I need my reverse thrust to gain an extra thruster. So we've got two now. Let's get rolling out of here, see what I can find. Uh, it's nice to have the extra thruster. Uh, no, I'm not going to put a crane on this trailer. I know... I, <laughs> I know the limits of what I want to do... I want to attempt with space engineers with regard to stuff like that. And... Things like that are the sort of behavior. That's the sort of behavior I relegate to less resource scarce scenarios, i.e., creative mode. <laughs> Hello? Any stuff down here? Oh, there's a thing. Let's go to that. What, Jex? Would I agree if I... Would you agree if I said babies are just soft-shell humans? I mean... They are, but why? <laughs> what the... Where did that even come from, Jex? that down there? What's that? Hmm. 
Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Oh, finally! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Large hydrogen tank, small grid. Oh, yes. That's what we're after. Oh, finally. Ah. some of this bed. Be very careful not to grind down the tank. In fact, with the grinding of those wheels, I might be able to weld up the tank a bit more. Add a few more large steel tubes to it. And it's free. Please stop rolling. Good. <laughs> Don't want that rolling down the hill. Oh, stop rolling! <laughs> stop! 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 There you go. Try and roll past that rotten thing. Do, do, do. Oh. Bit of cola. Power cells. Eh. Uh, da, 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 da. Should be a few more bits for this. I reckon that's about all I'm going to get that's of use out of this thing. That is awesome. That is a great find and that is going to be incre that's incredibly valuable for getting myself to space. So I don't like to do that on small tanks. That was a great find. Now if I can just find some more thrusters, I'll be set. Oh, the tank is definitely empty. 100% empty. With that much... With it being that ground down, there's no way it's still holding fuel. Thing is, I also have... Um, a large grid tank that is quite a small large grid tank back at base that's reasonably full so I should be able to fill this one off that uh, oh dear get you back in range without having to bring the flyer back So 
Uh, just small steel tubes we left for it. Cool. Uh, and let's get rid of this stuff once I check these cargo containers for goodies. Oops. Creative mode tools, let's clean it up. Yep. Oh, that's a great find. Let's see what other great finds we can get. Maybe I'll... Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Very unsettling. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just fly this way then. Yes, filling up a <laughs> uh, any larger tank from the tiny tanks is tedious work. That's why I kind of left the little tanks available, so there is an option, uh, but it's not a fun one. I imagine you get more hydrogen more quickly from the ice that I've put in loot. Something over there, are those just trees? I think those might be just trees. Nope, that is something. Just a little shed. I think I'll still check out the sheds, though. There's always a chance they'll have a small grid block inside that I want. Oh, there's a chance I'll get shot in the face. One of the two. do we have here? Programmable block, event controller, inset light, timer block. Might grab the event controller. I don't think I've got many of these. I think I'll just take the power saw from this. Alright. That's kind of all I want from here. super exciting that one but at least it proves that I I've added enough event controllers that you should be able to find them which is a uh, positive change uh, distance from players fence farm crush fence remove Yeah, I left the AI blocks makeable. Uh, kind of because I felt like they were similar to a cockpit or a remote control. Ah, the smoke from the old rusty hydrogen tank.
Oh yeah, I probably should add some parachute hatches to some more of the grids, given the bug with the uh, unknown signals. I deliberately hadn't, because the unknown signals were providing ample parachutes. But since that's bugged, I probably should throw a few of them in. <laughs> Defense, the fight against frame drop. Yeah. <laughs> True. I'll just fly around down on this plateau down here until I see something spawn and then chase it. Hoping with this being such a large flat area that'll have a really easy time spawning stuff in. point that I am tempted to expedite the situation with an option that I would encourage you to do if you're having similar issues in your own game. If you enter into chat slash mes.spi it will spawn a thing which is now behind me because of course it is. Uh, normally I have it so chat can do this, but since I can't today, I'll just spawn it myself. In fact, I don't know if my... I don't know if I've got the alterations to the settings are active in this. I might not. This might be running on default. Ah, oh, we've got a little camper on a truck. Can't remember if there's anything good in here. That'd be a nope inside there. And a nope inside there. And, uh, yeah, nope. A few motors at least. Building up that other Atmo thruster. Loop. I might have left creative on. I did. Also, blam, 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 blam. This is testing, so let's test. <laughs> See what we find. There was something on top of the thing. There's a few power lines over here. I'll check out the power lines and then I'll head up to the top of that plateau up there. Part of the reason I really, really, really want to make sure I properly test today is because I'd like to make this go live for everybody. So, if I... Ooh! Uh, that's a chopper. And then there's something new over there, I think. 
Yes, perfect. Yeah, I wish there was a more reliable way for me to get the MES settings to persist for the scenario. It's really annoying that they don't. Fortunately, this did not contain a hydrogen thruster, and that's what I was hoping it would have. Because some of these, um, some of these helicopters do. Oh well. Got some things from it. I really do wish the, the concept I had for that MES settings mod was less crashy. <laughs> it it was just such a good, clean... It seemed like such a good, clean way to um, help those settings persist properly for the saves. Yeah, I know I missed that one over there. It's down there. looks like a chopper in front and that is something small and more power lines down there I'm gonna go over here because that is a warehouse and I'm not sure which one oh yeah my hydrogen tanks not getting cooked it's getting the dust off effects, but I'm I'm far enough away. It's safe. Okay. Here's something new for those who didn't see me making it. Oh gun! Um, okay, <laughs> we're going to do this. I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm going to get a gun and I'm going to come back. that's not friendly. Uh, I'll check out the chopper when I get back. Uh, that's an that's been part of the update today, Core. The icon in chat. It's weird. It's part of the update that came today because of the PlayStation release. Well, the PlayStation Vader. I presume it says who's on PC, who's on PlayStation, and who's on Xbox. The other reason I think would be a good idea for me to head home with this tank right now is I spotted the large cargo container in that base when I popped in and that's going to be rather large to bring home so I probably don't want to have extra stuff on board. I'm not sure how well this lift is going to do at picking up a large grid large cargo container.
I think at least having a gun might be helpful. I'm also regretting not putting a survival kit on this flyer. I was tempted, and then I didn't do it. I should have done it. I possibly still could do it, actually. Maybe I should. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's add a survival kit. I think I've got a spare. this so I can pick it up. Let's get that out of the way for now. <laughs> Every time I pick up something light like that, I feel like I'm picking up something gross because I'm dangling it as far away from my face as I possibly can. I can start assembling a proper spaceship. Probably, I reckon I'll keep searching for the remainder today, but I'll be able to actually put something together next time. Which is great. No, stop rolling. Stop. Stay. You're going to need a chuck, aren't you? Uh, now, do I have a survival kit? I do. Here. Let's see if I've got the parts to repair it. I'm pretty confident I do. To do to do, come on. Here we go. Man, there would have been some <laughs> massive advantages to having this the improvised experiment experimentation during scavenger hunt would have been very handy the first iteration of this style of mod was released while we were filming it so I used it once we got to space but it was as those of you who saw that would have seen that <laughs> We had some struggles with it. Hey, Space Ghost. Up. Yep. Out. Well, that was easy. One survival kit. Now I just need a gun. Huh? 
Oh, right, because there's no power. I can't transfer things. We can get all this stuff off board, off it. Thanks, Space Ghost. Thanks for the prime sub. I'll offload this thing, and then I'm gonna head back with a gun and see if I can shoot my way to inside of that. <laughs> warehouse my hope is that those warehouses will provide you guys with some alternate uh, base locations to these hangars because um, obviously the hangars work nicely but it'd, I always thought it'd be good for people to have a few alternatives a few other options would be is always nice let's get out of here oh I forgot the gun A uh, small battery would not work when not connected to the flyer because as soon as I'm in flight, I will consume all the power from that small battery and it'll be dead anyway. So there's no point. That's why I didn't bother. What guns do I have? Uh... Rapid fire. Regular. Pistols, just regular pistols. I don't think I've got any fancy pistols. I think I've just got rapid fire and regular pistols. Well, rapid fire it is. Uh, pistols are not useless. The elite pistol is the most powerful weapon, powerful hand weapon, um, at close range. When you combine its fire rate and its accuracy, uh, it is it does more damage than the elite rifle. Uh, per s damage per second, the pistol probably does do more than a rocket launcher because the rocket launcher's reload is so incredibly slow. The pistols reload quickly. So yeah, the, the pistols are actually good. No. No, Takari, this this that in, that turret is well within what I would consider close range. Close range is under 250 meters. And I'm like 25 meters away from that turret. Hey, Tomaso. Uh, you've missed me building this. Which is working out rather well. Made a brownie pan. Huh. A little bit. <laughs> now I want to make brownies. Oh. Red velvet, white chocolate. Brownies. Man, those were good when I made them. I haven't made them in a long time. So good though. They marble really well together. 
white chocolate cheesecake brownie, sorry. Hey, Gannett. Uh, this is the heavy lifter. This is the... I'm going to go out and find fun stuff. You know what? Surprisingly, I don't like Nutella. Um, my guess is that I... First time I tried it as a kid, I thought it was chocolate. It didn't taste like chocolate. I was disappointed and I've hated... I've disliked it ever since. Like, I don't hate it. I just dislike it. Which is weird, because I do have a... A ridiculous sweet tooth. But yeah. Not a fan. Yay. I might be able to get closer to the turret if I go through here. Apparently, I didn't set that landing gear to be deleted. What grid am I at? Let's just check that, because I need to write that down. Um, my distance from players. Warehouse 02. Let's just quickly write that down. Do it this way. Warehouse... O2, no delete, landing gear. Cool. This is a bad idea. I might accidentally shoot the cargo container and destroy it. Yeah, shoot me now, turret. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Can't do nothing now. So, from that interaction, you might now understand why I made these custom turrets. They're a lot more player friendly uh, than the alternative interior turrets. Power cells. So I have found power cells today, but I haven't found a lot of them, which is about where I wanted it to be. And those don't have anything good. Let's check these. Nope. These? No. These? Meh. What else is around here? You? No. You? No. You? No. You? No. You? No. You? Ah, no. You? No. Okay, grab that out. Inventory full. And I gotta figure out how I can get this container out. Vanilla turrets are OP towards players. I completely agree, and that's why I made my better turrets mod. <laughs> Which I think I've got by default included in the scrapyard scenario. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to have the parts to weld this thing up. Yeah, because I don't have 24 metal grids around here. Um, just going to make it tricky because it's going to be access denied. Um, take out this landing gear.
wonder if that's enough with the doors gone that I can now take control of this thing. Um, maybe if I weld the doors back up. Uh, Trindle, how long ago did you start the scenario? Because I've added a few mods since I published it. Incomplete. Owned by Hecup. Dang it. Oh, well, I'll add it when I next remember. Um, what is going to allow me to take ownership of this thing? You don't have computers in you, do you? Yes, you do. I left computers in you. Now I might be able to take control. Um... Whatever, let's just build a door. Me! It's owned by me! Now I have to climb up on the roof and remove the roof without dying. Inventory full. know how I, I'm not sure why you guys think working off a floating platform is safer than me climbing up <laughs> uh, feel like that's exactly the sort of thing you'd say to someone who you wanted to have fall to their doom This is true. I do have the survival kit. That is a fair point. Uh, it's probably best if said survival kit is not up in the air when I respawn, though. <laughs> it's not going to be much help to me if that's the case. Alright, that should do the trick. Uh, I'll survive that. Not an enemy block! Inventory full. What? Arrgh. Inventory full. I took ownership of it. Oh, this one doesn't help me either. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. It's detached now. That's all I needed. Okay, let's attempt to fly this thing out. See what's going to happen. Hey, Ubi. How's it going? Welcome. Now, who's got money on me destroying this on my way out? Especially since my thrusters are going to be pushing against it if I'm not careful. And perhaps even if I am careful.
Yeah. This, looks th this thing is not heavy. Like, at all. Uh, it is slightly oversized, though. There you go, locked down. I've got to take that home and come back because I can't pick up the battery as well. Right, offline mode? No, I'm not. Ah, dang. Uh, save, yes. Exit, yes. Load game. I have a reason for what I'm doing. And it's because what I'm doing is ridiculous. Uh, my thrusters shouldn't cook it on the way home, I hope. Now I have the ability to pause and take screenshots. Isn't everything I do ridiculous? Perhaps. Um, yeah, I could I could pick up the battery separately, I guess. That is an option. That could work. Well, enable this for a while. I'm gonna go up with my desk. Oh yeah, we've now got a load percentage on our loading screen. I've had the make me stand up at my desk thing off for a while because it's been so cold. But I'm actually kind of warm now. My computers have effectively heated my room. My shed. Take off my jacket. Come on. Come up. Yeah, today's update added the thing that says the load percentage, as well as a few other bits and pieces. Now, I've still got my hoodie on. I had a jacket on over the top of my hoodie because it was so cold. <laughs> Let's see how long I bother standing for. Alright, if I've done this... Yeah, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll go collect the... Uh... Oh. That's not good. Uh... I have to grind off that landing gear, I think. Because that is in the ground. That's what keeps getting partially embedded in the voxel when I relock to my thing. That's kind of annoying. In that case, I might actually use an old school landing gear or a big one. So that's less likely to do that. I do this. See how that goes. It's gonna be a bit more awkward to use, but it is distressing <laughs> coming out of those. 
Thanks, Talizin. Thanks for 15 months. And thanks, Robcraft. Thank you for nine months. Let's go a bit further. Okay, looks like my shed's about to get colder because Charlie wanted in. Guess that's what happens. Will I be able to grind this down successfully again? Now it's neutral, so when I get back to base, I should be able to take control of it. I'll leave it neutral for now. Uh, Toby's doing all right. He was uh, a little bit grumbly the last few days because he just got his six-week vaccines, so he's all a bit, all a bit cranky. But he seemed to be back to a bit more normal last night, whatever normal means for someone that's seven weeks old. Alright, homeward bound. Ah, the things I've done. Hey, Kiss. How's his carb loaded going? Uh, seems to be going okay. This is why I wanted to make myself have offline available. Snap. There's a part of me that wants to... <laughs> oh no! Temptation! Nope. Cannot. Must get this home. <laughs> it's like me trying to carry all the grocery bags to the house at once. Yeah. Yep, I've been there. And even more so like me when I'm there, when I've I have that moment of debate as I'm at the checkout. Do I keep taking this trolley with me or do I ditch it now at the shop so I don't have to find where to put it in the car park? And then I load up with eight bags and my shoulder is whinging profusely at me by the time I reach my car. It's just one of those things you do, isn't it? <laughs> Where you're just like, oh, this will be quicker. Quicker is not always better. Snap. Not sure I'll use these for thumbnails, but I figure I might as well get them while I'm here. So I've got two small hydros and one large. I need to find another, at least another three hydrogen thrusters somewhere. Don't know where I'm going to find them, but I need to find another three. Because I would like six directions of thrust. I don't care if I've got a random selection of large and small thrusters. As long as I've got six thrusters.
See, the one thrust at a space thing is always doable, but it always feels like... I'm... I'm... I feel like doing that sometimes cheats me out of the fun of doing stuff like this. So I didn't want to do it. I guess... I guess that's one of the key things with, um playing something single player is you're never really cheating until you feel like you're cheating yourself out of potential fun and if you think what you're doing is going to make things less fun for you probably don't do it but if it's going to make it more fun for you just do it who cares <laughs> it's not about getting to a destination it's about what you build to get there the air toboggan. Oh, the air toboggan, the brownie tray. It's still called the hot seat at present. I don't even know if I need this cargo container. I just found it so I figured I should bring it because they're pretty rare. These are pretty unusual to find a lot of. I mean, it's still random. You, you still can find lots of them, but they are rare. Oh wait, I need to unlock it before I go take off with that. gonna pop this right here I'm not gonna put it anywhere particular so I don't really know where I want to put it <laughs> down we go love this thing so happy with how this turned out. It is pretty much exactly what I imagined it when I thought of it last night. Alright, there were a few more grids out this way, so let, I'm going to head back out and see what else we can find. Space engineers, nothing is ever finished. The best we can hope for is pretty. The most we usually see is technically functional. Uh, sadly accurate. Squirrel. Oh, what is that? I think that's a highway section. Maybe? means it should have a couple of vehicles so there's a chance there'll be a hydrogen thruster there. So now that I'm on the serious hunt for hydrogen thrust I definitely want to check out the uh, vehicles a lot. You don't have anything on you, do you? What about you? Oh, you're the same vehicle. Typical. I 
good that pops out of that. Doesn't look like it. Nothing in the weapon rack. So I'll take those tubes. Ooh. I think there was ammo in that. The joys. All right, time to delete a few things. Uh, entity list, distance from players. That, 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 that. No, not that. That, that, that. Yay! And away we go! Wrong way. Thanks, Soul Shadow. Thanks for the Prime Sub. It's not the YouTube video with a picture of the giant. Great big cargo container, then cut to the explosion. Yep. That's called clickbait. Uh, I should probably name this the hot seat. Because that will help me avoid deleting it in the future. have we to find? Spindly dead trees in amongst regular trees makes it tricky to pick the grids versus a different tree. Thanks for the anonymous gift sub. Anonymous gifter. Thank you. Uh, anything good over there? No. There is something over here by this power line and I don't know what it is. But for those of you who've been playing for a while and been like, oh, another power line, what a waste. Not so much anymore. There's another plane. Another survival kit. Uh, beacon, don't really care. Grab that, grab that. Alright, what have you got in you? Two thrusters. Anything else? Tail thruster? No tail thruster. Engines? Small hydrogen tank. Dead engine. All right, let's get these thrusters. Grid unfriendly. Oh, 
My drag goes? No. Now I can. Ish. Uh, many of the things in this mod were built rusted. Uh, some of the grids come from other people submitting them, but most of the stuff that I built myself it was built in the broken down state. own both. Do I own both of these? I don't know. Yeah, now that I own them I can bring them together. Make it easier to pick up. Come on. Come on, Thruster. There you go. Yes. Do not forget to update your tetanus booster. Safety first. Uh, I'm not keen on having... So, question was asked about the drop pod Twitch integration designs that I was working on the other day. Um, I'm not keen on having any, host any actively hostile things as part of the Twitch integration. The difference between an actively hostile grid and a trapped grid is that the trapped grid um, is something I've got to actively engage with. So I choose to go after it. And that means that I can have a bit of control over what, how much damage it does and how overly painful the result is. Um, whereas something that actively hunts me down does not allow that and is not something I'm keen on. Part of the reason I don't like that stuff is that it, it kind of ends up being, to me anyway, the only people having f fun when that stuff's happening are the people who are spawning all the random stuff. I just find it really boring to watch. Like, I've never enjoyed watching anyone stream that way. I'm just like, ugh, boring. So, so I don't want to do it myself. Thanks, Lohan. Thanks for the prime sub. The situations where I think I'd consider doing it would be like a charity stream and then having that as a way to, um, what am I doing? That, having that as a way to improve how much I can raise for the charity and then it's kind of my pain for their gain, which feels right to me. Uh, but yeah, in general, it's not my, it's not a thing I'm keen on. I think that one might be the other one. Yeah, I'll remove that. Like, the, the, the Twitch test, the day I did the test of the Twitch mod, that was me deliberately doing something very silly, and it was supposed to be, can we break this? Uh, so that I could learn some useful information about how to best approach playing that way. Alright, Chopper, you gonna give me a thruster? Am I gonna get something good? Still can't believe that 
meteor hit me straight in the cockpit. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Chinook, do you have anything good? You do not. Monster. like there's nothing I really want from this one. I got cheated. By my own mod. Yeah, there was an event controller in there. I haven't even started using... Ooh, Crane. I haven't even started using any event controllers yet, so I'm not really worried about finding more when I've got two or three lying around back at base that I haven't even used. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, 09. I have not done anything to the ore detector at all. There's no reason to have the ore detector because it the, you don't have refineries. Uh suppose if you were trying to find ice, I guess. But yeah, I haven't touched it. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Mr. Calzone, you are definitely not going to hear my opinion on that. Is that a cargo container or is that an assembler? That looks like a cargo container. Poop. No, Chozo, default range is 5150, not 250. Try and have a look and just make sure that is a cargo container. So I'm going to stand in the tray. I'm going to hop in the cockpit. I'm going to go up. Fly next to it. We're going to take a little peek. And it is a cargo container. Much disappointing. Uh, yeah, Zada, the, the starter rover was intentionally made terrible. That is... 100% on purpose. Because, like, if I gave you... If I gave a perfect rover to begin with, it defeats the purpose of actually playing the game and making better things. One day, I'm going to find the dumpster that I put a thruster in. One day. 
Because, oops, spoiler, there's a dumpster thruster <laughs> to be found out there. those grids because I'm going to need them for building the hydrogen thrusters. Those motors. Let's see what's in these. Nothing. Uh, any other containers down here? that one either. Inventory full. And nothing in that one. What about you? You got something? Not really. Inventory full. Uh, personal or block inventory works for the um, lockers. Alright. So what's our way of dealing with this crane? Should I shoot the thing? I should probably shoot the thing, shouldn't I? Ah, what the heck, let's climb up and see what happens. I think my flyers fire enough away that it's safe. I hope. Hopefully. Nothing. Safe one. I'll take that. That's platinum. Inventory full. Oops. Oh, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Uh, Chozo, yeah, you can build scriptless arms and things. They're just real painful to control. Alright. Just dump this inventory off. <laughs> and then it's time to cut this tree down. I mean, you could probably make something that works a little bit better now that we've got event controllers, but it's still not f fun, to my mind. Oi! St stop floating away from me. You with your odd collisions. Timber! Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Nope. Oof. Whoa! No! No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Okay. Was not expecting that to bounce. <laughs> oh, 
It's just a battery. Huh. Um. Just do I care about a battery? I've got quite a few batteries at home. But I kind of don't need it. Um. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. I'm gonna go collect some other stuff. I complain about Capac doing things like that and not telling me! So I don't get to see it! He's like, uh, this will be funny. Splitsy will come back and be like, why is everything destroyed but didn't get to see any of the fun stuff? Jerk. There is no way to process scrap, no. Yes, it is 100% intentional that Capac does that. Alright, uh, my creative mode is off. Let's go see what we can find. Should be more around here. Haven't been up to the top of the plateau mesa thing. What's the reason behind deleting all those blocks? Uh, just clean up to keep my game running more efficiently. I see those goodies off to the right there. It helps uh, keep things clear so more, thing more things can spawn as well. What do we have down here? Ah, solar panels. <laughs> Small grid solar panels. I actually do want those. Nice. One flat line of delivery. Okay, I don't think I want to be particularly close to those. I got solar cells at home. I've got solar panels at home too that I can take cells from if I need to. But I got cells because I found a solar panel before that I took all the cells from. Trying to clean this up a little bit, reduce the mass that I have to bring with me. And that's that side gone. I need to leave some of this intact. Or even build another... Ooh! That was almost bad. Or at least build a connection between these, which I think might be the smarter thing to do. If I add another connection down the back so that I can move all of these as one piece. 
That should work. Inventory full. Oops. The scrapyard settings mod is removed from the scenario because it's still, even after the multiplayer and server fix for that mod, it still causes a crash uh, at scenario load. So I can't include it in the mod in the scenario, which is annoying. But it is what it is. Not really anything I can do about it. Because the solutions that I'm aware of are worse than the current problem. Cure is worse than disease. Let's see if I can get all these bits out. I love that I'm like, I don't want this to be too heavy, but I'm putting all these components in the flyer anyway. So I'm taking all the mass with me regardless. So in some ways, there was no point to what I just did. But in other ways, this is easier to handle now. It doesn't have as much stuff. Okay, detach. Let's pick it up and we'll pop it on. Oh, apparently my reverse thrusters were off. <laughs> I was wondering why I was being all slidey and floaty. There is a bird around my shed. Always a bird. I think it was a crow just before. It's barely sunny outside, so I think the birds are being their usual active selves. Yep, there it goes. Crow's going again. It's so annoying that um, the RTX voice stuff doesn't get rid of those things. Can't clean that up. Charlie is frustratingly not effective at scaring off the birds. Uh, to the extent that some of them are dumb enough that she's caught them. They didn't appreciate that she could jump and get her mouth to two meters in height. I think. It was rather horrible. No... I do not need a cat. I do not want a cat. <laughs> I grew up with cats. I do not want a cat again. <laughs> it's down there. There was something else around here that I saw. Where was it? Because it wasn't... I didn't have my GPS marker at it. I think it was probably this way. Here? Something down. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the group I was looking for.
Well, I think I'm pretty happy that uh, the changes I've made for today can go live in the public version of the mod. So that's nice. Because I haven't come across anything like last time where... Ooh, that's close enough it might actually burn. Uh, where I ended up with way too many power cells and I was like, oof, this is a bit generous. Plus the uh, unexpected basic assemblers. I do want to add a basic assembler somewhere else in the mod for it to be found. I just haven't decided where yet. But I am going to add more. Uh, so we've got a few tanks around. Let's go have a look. Might need to fiddle with how those power poles spawn so they spawn further away from these things, but that's okay. Ooh. Beers. We had a little bit of damage. <laughs> uh, so if you come across grids that have spawned inside each other, meh. It'll happen. And sometimes when that happens, it means the stuff that's meant to get deleted won't. Because it'll take damage. Like this battery. But it's a... It's a consequence of the way that I spawn things in, and it's not something I can do anything useful about without having to do an insane amount of work to fix it. And that will actually make for less varied spawns rather than better spawns anyway, so I don't really want to do it. Oh. Here's my conveyor cap. Uh, and that is why on the... Steam page, it is listed as a feature with the word bug crossed out. Oh, that fell over. That makes so much more sense. What have we got in here? You have nothing. Conveyor belt does not have anything either. Other than maybe the few motors in its landing gear. The assembler can break down some things to get compo to get uh, ingots. That's how you get ingots. You break down some stuff to get other things. Ah, oh, that's not a solid panel. Oh. Take those small steel tubes, though. Pipe caps plus improvised engineering equals fun game of frisbee. Kind of want to do that. I think I need to add some extra depth to these builds so they sink into the ground a bit more. Less floaty. Oh. The hunt for the thrusters continues. I've definitely I've definitely got some good progress out of today though. Uh let's have a look at what that new one spawns in as cuz I can see where it is. Let's check it out. There's something on route to there too. I don't need to worry about that. If it was a chopper, I would have gotten to it. This thing was on towards the top of the cliff, I think. The mountain.
Oh, yep, here we go. Here's something. That could be a warehouse. It is a warehouse. Excellent. Which warehouse? Thanks, Willy Mammoth. That was kind of precisely what I was going for. The terrible spawn rover, make better rover. Use better rover to find better stuff, make flyer. Use flyer to find bits to make thing to go to space. Get to space, get large grid stuff. Um, but being able to slow the game down enough to allow that progression to be felt while simultaneously trying, but probably not succeeding, to not slow the game down too much that you get bored before that happens. What do we have in here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I need these to be deleted too. I haven't made them delete. Right. Uh, more than and other warehouses need them set to delete. Oops. So, what's supposed to happen here is... Let's see if I can just do it. Donk. Donk. Yeah. So they're meant to get deleted and then you come in to find these crash... these tipple... toppled? Tippled over. Uh... There are power cells to be found in here. I don't remember where. Because I made them varied. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm keen on finding them. Uh, could just do it this way, I guess. Inventory full. Oops. Inventory ah. full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Nothing. No. Searching, searching, searching. Searching, searching, searching. Just gonna scan the ones I can reach. Bear in mind I have hidden them above reaching height in a few spots. find the easy ones if there are any easy ones to find unless this is one of the ones that doesn't have any that's possible too inventory full it's entirely possible the outer side walls no well poop wonder if there's anything in these other buildings um, interesting. This looks like it's got some conveyors. Inventory full. What? I just emptied my inventory. What? Is creative mode still on? Yes, it is. Thank you. Oh, is this? Oh, I'm full. I see. That is a problem. No, nah, nothing. And nothing. All right. Let's check this building over here. There we go, power cells. Winner! As you might have noticed, there are now more power cells to be found. Uh, no, I think. So it is worth checking the loot. 
I found like I think I found like six or so today, and I've been to quite a few grids, so I think that's quite reasonable. But I think that's enough testing for today. I'll be I'm going to be using the rest of today to do some editing on a tutorial I've been working on for the last week and a bit. And I plan to get out this weekend. So I want to make sure it's released this weekend for you guys to have a look. Uh, the tutorial is based, is entirely around um, making a fighter support drone. So something that'll take off from your rover or your ship will fly around and patrol and if an enemy comes in range it'll go and automatically target it. So that should be uh, that should be out this weekend. I will use a little bit of time today just to update those warehouses so they're ready to go and then publish the update for the mod so you guys can play around with these new grids and tell me what else I've broken with them. There are going to be some height offset issues with them. Um, don't bother reporting them to me. I know they're there. I'll fix them when I get a chance but I'm not going to fix them today. Uh, with the new grids. Some of them are wrong. Uh, the method I've been using to spawn them in doesn't seem to actually get the correct offsets, even though that's what its function was in intended for. So, weird. Uh, but that'll be a change I'll have to find some time for later. Uh, so other than the tutorial, I'll be back on Monday with some more stuff with Black Shadow. And of course, all the usual stuff next week. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye.